se io in italiano, italiano farò poi, questo poi, tra tu, no 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 non se ne parla Prova, tu macce prova. Ok, eh, buongiorno a tutti. Good morning to our special friends, both to teachers and uh, students. Uh, we felt uh, really at home and uh, we, we are uh, really, really, really uh, hope we will enjoy this important uh, morning because uh, uh, we are going uh, to have uh, our dissemination seminar about uh, volunteering in Europe. Uh, now I leave our headmaster, Mr. Fabio Navanteri, to welcome you all and uh, Mrs. Uh, Simona Calderaro as a representative of our local authorities. She represented the major of uh, Avola, uh, who is uh, out uh, for uh, institutional services this morning. And uh, Mr. Radek Dan, that you know all because he is our coordinator. Uh, during the morning, uh, we will have uh, different moments uh, in which uh, Uh, some of the representatives we have invited uh, will talk about the most important association on volunteering with the whom we work for this project, the matter on laws uh, association, emergency, the local section uh, of uh, Syracuse, and uh, the Caritas, uh, we have the responsible of these uh, associations, and uh, at the end uh, we will have uh, each one of our partner country will uh, show how does uh, uh, volunteering uh, works uh, in each own country and then uh, we will show you uh, what we have realized for our first year of uh, our Erasmus Plus project a sense of community hope you can enjoy this morning We hope it couldn't be so tiring as yesterday, above all for the students. And I would like to thank the Super Abil Association, who are really, really important for our project, and we want to thank very much for their cooperation with all the activities. Thank you. Now our headmaster will give his welcome to the activity. Good morning to all. <laughs> Finito. <laughs> And welcome to our school. A special welcome must go to all our partners, students and teachers, our Czech Republic, Spanish, Romanian and Estonian friends. I would also like to thank our local authority <laughs> for having been so kind in accepting our invitation for this important dissemination seminar on volunteering in Europe. The main aim of the Erasmus Plus K2 project is a sense of the community of which we are partner is to create a pilot project on voluntary activities in the school curricula, a real challenging task as volunteering is something lacking in our school programs. We are aware that teaching to young the virtue of helping others is a struggle because today's life go so fast and in such a selfish way that it's 
difficult to stop and things wet we should do for others. This is our goal. We hope keep on working together to help each other to make our best for the growth of our students. I would like to wish to the students to have the most of this important experience. I also want to thank the teachers and the guests for their work with such an important task, the creation of a future European citizen. Let me also thank our students, families, for their hospitality, which is really important for the school institution. Have a good Erasmus Plus time. Thank you. Sto imparando l'inglese, piano piano. <laughs> ok. Ieri ci ha detto che lei è eccezionale. Ma chi? Lui, che è intelligente pure. Ah, vero? Lui è intelligente la sua. Allora, ringrazio possono comprendermi meglio. Io intanto li ringrazio per la presenza qui a scuola, per la partecipazione, come sempre eh, eccezionale e bene accolti, perché il nostro cuore è sempre con voi, voi lo sapete, non c'è bisogno e ve lo dico. <ride> La nostra scuola lavora moltissimo per l'integrazione e anche per il volontariato. Quindi il mio piacere è sempre di accogliervi qui a scuola insieme a noi. E ringrazio anche tutti gli studenti, sia stranieri che italiani nostri della scuola, che stanno partecipando a questo importante seminario. Ringrazio, non c'era nel discorso, ma io lo voglio dire lo stesso, tutti i docenti, non solo quelli stranieri nostri, ma in particolare, questo non c'è scritto, professoressa Caldarella, <ride> <ride> ma in particolare voglio ringraziare la professoressa Caldarella. <ride> Grazie, per l'impegno e le difficoltà che si incontrano, è normale che ci siano delle difficoltà, ma la professoressa Caldarella, nonostante soffia un po', mette tutto il suo impegno e tutta la sua forza. Grazie, eh, grazie a lei. E infine, l'ultima cosa anche se ce l'ha scritto velatamente nel discorso voglio ringraziare il sindaco Luca Cannata che ha mandato l'assessore alla cultura Simona Caldararo eh, ma voglio ringraziare il sindaco per la collaborazione che ci dà perché per noi è importante avere rapporto con gli enti locali, gli enti territoriali stare in contatto con la comunità scolastica tutta so che ci sono anche docenti di altre scuole che voglio salutare e ringraziare per la partecipazione buon lavoro a tutti, grazie Sarò breve così, non costringo la professoressa Caldarella a una lunga traduzione. E vi porto ovviamente i saluti del sindaco e di tutta l'amministrazione, saluto i dirigenti stranieri, tutti gli studenti, e nonché eh, il dirigente Navanteri, tutti gli insegnanti coinvolti nel progetto Erasmus. E soprattutto, secondo me, un saluto e un ringraziamento alle famiglie che hanno dato la disponibilità ad ospitare, ad ospitare qui questi giovani. Uh, she is really happy to be there with uh, all of you. 
Uh, she thanks uh, the school, the headmaster, the teachers uh, for uh, having invited uh, the local authorities. But above all, she would like to thank uh, the students, uh, the Italian students uh, and their families for uh, the efforts they are doing in hosting uh, so many foreign students uh, in their homes. Thank you very much from the local authorities for this. E volevo complimentarmi con gli insegnanti che portano avanti questo progetto da tanti anni perché eh, ritengo che eh, affinché ci sia una vera Europa senza barriere è necessario un grande lavoro da parte di tutti e sicuramente da parte dei giovani perché si possa arrivare ad una vera integrazione che sia eh, un'integrazione anche e soprattutto culturale. Quindi mh, noi siamo sempre a disposizione, l'amministrazione lo è sempre stata e lo siamo sempre eh, a favore delle iniziative di tutto quello che avete bisogno, per cui non mi resta che augurarvi una buona permanenza, un buon lavoro e ci rivedremo giovedì, giovedì. Eh, all'aula consigliare dove eh, vi aspetta il sindaco eh, per i saluti di rito. Grazie ancora e buon lavoro a tutti. She said that uh, as a representative of the local authority, uh, she is really happy of having been invited to this important moment of communication uh, of the activities uh, for our project and uh, she uh, with uh, our major uh, will uh, meet uh, all of us uh, on uh, Thursday morning as you know in the town hall uh, to give you the, our major welcome to Avola. Thank you very much. Now, we have prepared just a short presentation about uh, our project, uh, Radek, so that uh, all knows what we are uh, doing, and then uh, we will start uh, with the communication by each one of the representatives. This is our project. Uh, a sense of community, it's uh, an Erasmus Plus uh, KIA2 project uh, called 2016. This is uh, the program of this uh, day with all the people uh, who are going to give their uh, uh, lectures. Uh, our project uh, is uh, um, a project, an Erasmus project on uh, exchanging of best practices on voluntary works in Europe. Uh, its duration is uh, 24 months, uh, as uh, our partners know. Uh, the Czech Republic uh, is uh, our uh, applicant school, uh, then uh, there is Italy, we, uh, Spain, Romania and Estonia. Uh, our project object objectives uh, uh, are to carry out a pilot project uh, consisting of uh, a 30 hour voluntary work program for students to be inserted in school curricula, to raise awareness of volunteering in local communities of the participants, to make students understand the importance of voluntary works for their future growth, and the parents' involvement in the students' life. The results uh, we, we hope to achieve improve student skills on English language, creation of a guide of voluntary works in the partner countries, creation of intercultural awareness towards European citizenship, and improve school activities towards volunteering. Radek, did I miss something in this? Okay. Our partner. Republic, uh, Czech Republic, uh, the school is uh, Gymnasium Moyana Palacha, Palacha in Praha. Uh, Mr. Radek Dan is uh, the teacher responsible for uh, its, uh, this school. Estonia, the school is the Tostama Case School. Mm? Uh, Mr. Uh, Thomas Smith is uh, the headmaster of the school. Romania, Liceul Pedagogic, Pedagogic Johan Popescu, Mr. Daniel Stradulat, who represents the school, and Spain, 
Isabel, Jasmina e Marco represent the Centro Educandado Manuel Lora Tamayo, which is a, a Salesian school. As you can see on your right, uh, there's someone who are here, which are me and my colleague Cettina Fusca, because we went in Estonia in April, we were hosted, and these are on our right Francisca Purice and the headmaster of the Romanian school, and our nice, really nice Spanish friends, Rocio and Rosa. This is our work, one of the working sessions during the week with Mr. Radek Dan as a coordinator. He was preparing the last session for the week. These are the students' section because during Erasmus, students work all together because uh, Radek likes very much uh, that the students uh, have to work uh, in international groups uh, and so they did. These are some of the places uh, that uh, Thomas uh, uh, take us uh, to, to know during the week uh, in uh, Estonia. Do you know this man? Thomas the Great! <laughs> This is our farewell party in Tostama, his town. This, this is the school entrance in Tostama. We felt as in a soap opera, as you can see. Here we are in a nature reserve, Thomas. Okay, now, as you can see, I'm wearing a wonderful uh, cloth, which was a rucksack for the rubbish. Because Thomas uh, make us understand that to cover from we really windy time, we have to use these. And we were... And that's me with the fantastic Spanish boy Jesus doing our fashion with that wonderful clothes. Allora, allora, for all. Cosa stiamo dicendo? Queste sono alcune delle foto di quando siamo stati in Estonia con tre ragazze nostre e la professoressa Cettina Fusca che mi accompagnava. Siccome abbiamo fatto un'attività in un'isola sperduta, Marica, come si chiama l'isola? Dov'è? Marica? Mangia, mangia, manigia, mangia, mangia, mania island che c'era un vento che non si può capire a cui noi non siamo abituati assolutamente quando scendiamo da io disse stavo da bulai nell'Atlantico sicuro perché mi sono dovuta tenere sul battello perché stavo volando allora Thomas che era con noi perché non ci ha lasciato mai durante la settimana cosa ha fatto? aveva portato dei sacchi neri dell'immondizia e io non capivo all'inizio a che cosa servissero capito? quando lui ne ha preso uno ha fatto un buco alla testa e due nel, ai lati e se l'ha indossato lui per farci capire che era l'unico modo per proteggerci dal vento immenso che c'era dalla neve perché nevicava tutti i giorni e ne ha un germo abituato ovviamente ma abbiamo scoperto con nostro immenso piacere che i sacchi dell'immondizia sono un'immensa copertura contro questa intemperie naturale quindi siccome io non mi esonero mai a niente abbiamo fatto una bella sfilata di moda con questo simpaticissimo ragazzo spagnolo che era del team della Spagna lì con noi allora e quindi hanno fatto le foto che hanno aiutato a finire a tutte banne quindi questa sono io con il sacco dell'immondizia Dice il preside, and I was lucky that there weren't the dusty car who will pick me up to take away from Manija Island. 
e poi lei come avesse a fare senza mia che l'erasmo su cui ci avesse un bel eh, se mi dici ci faccio male la testa Belli, ha visto signora una va in Estonia per fare sta fine queste sono le nostre ragazze con Gettina perché hanno fatto una gara di canoa the canoeing I didn't assolutamente with the Spanish uh, Czech Republic I think or Romanian uh, students because they were all together and this is uh, just uh, a thought by me the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others il modo migliore per trovare se stessi è perdersi al servizio degli altri thank you so now uh, If uh, this, is, this is the program of this day because I don't remember very well. Uh, okay, um, Radek, now it's up to you. What do you think? It's better that. Uh, we have the presentation, the Italian presentation of what we have realized for this first year of the project and then we will start with Meter and the other associations. Yeah, I okay. agree with Do you this agree? This ok. Can... Allora ragazzi, eh, Peppe, il video è quello del primo anno di attività, ce l'abbiamo qui, che viene qua?
Now all the students will explain what was the sense of their work during these activities. Uh, what I want to just like to say is that all of these activities have been realized during morning because students, our goal is to make a pilot project so that volunteering will be inserted in the school curricula. We have tried to do this this, this first year. We have done three activities, carnival, uh, the social canteen uh, with the Caritas, where we'll be on a Thursday, and uh, the other one was... Okay, and in summer, the students were involved in helping the disabled people of the association having a normal summer time and three times per week from the beginning of, Ju of July till the 12th of August, they were with them at the sea to have uh, fun with them all together. And imagine that the students, they are young and they were on holidays, but they offered immediately to stay with them. And uh, now I would like you hear what they have to say about today's experiences for them. Hi, everybody. For this first year of this project, we have done a lot of uh, volunteering in our town. We have organized a masked group with uh, disabled people. We have uh, done the uh, scenography, choreography, and the costumes with the help of our parents. Uh, for a couple of weeks, uh, we have also done uh, the, some volunteering in the canteen of uh, San Giovanni Church. We cooked and uh, served the food uh, for the poor people. And finally, we did activities with the disabled people, like uh, dancing, drawing, and playing all together. For, uh, the, I think that this has been a fantastic experience. Uh, this is my first experience. But in the future, I would you like to continue to do volunteering and uh, help people. Good morning, everybody. We have uh, done a lot of experience uh, thanks to this project. We went to a canteen where the poor people can uh, go for a meal. We worked with the desert the disadvantaged people in their association super happily and uh, spent an uh, afternoon at Sporlandia having dinner together. They are uh, really simple things, but um, they make your change, your change your way of seeing things. We work uh, together and I'm uh, really proud of the result. Thank you to this project, I meet uh, wonderful people uh, to help me to grow. Voluntary activities are experience everyone should do. Thank you for the attention. I think that we have just reached the one of our goal in the project. The fact that they now knows the value of helping others. I think that is the best result we have for the first year. Keep on going and seeing what we should do. Okay? Grazie ragazze. Brave, bravissimi tutti. Now uh, we will have a talk with uh, the responsible of uh, Mater Association. Uh, who would like to explain what uh, METER is and what do they do for the community?
Buongiorno. Buongiorno, io mi presento, sono la dottoressa Consiglio. Sono la dottoressa Consiglio Arianna, una psicologa dell'associazione METER. Vi faccio una breve presentazione dell'associazione. Come vedete dalle immagini, qui c'è un organigramma, eh, un presidente e un direttivo che coordinano eh, le attività dell'associazione METER. Fondamentalmente METER ha dei pilastri che vedete evidenziati, eh, web, formazione e psicologia. Nello specifico, eh, andiamo avanti... Spiega brevemente cosa è Meta. Does it work? Oh, just, she has just shown you a diagram for what are the activities they do. That's briefly what I see. L'associazione Meta si avvale di varie collaborazioni, quindi con l'università, con la chiesa, con le istituzioni, le scuole e, e le aziende. E, infatti sigla ogni anno tanti protocolli. E, attualmente abbiamo vari protocolli con l'università, quali anche l'università di Catania. E, attraverso questo protocollo eh, collaboriamo per sviluppare delle aree di ricerca in funzione delle tematiche prettamente legate al, all'infanzia, quindi parliamo di pedofilia. Okay, they work with the help of other institutions like schools, uh, the church and also the universities. Um, okay. Eh, quindi le tematiche relative alla pedofilia ma non solo, tematiche in funzione alla prevenzione dell'uso dei social network. Okay, the themes the task are also to prevent the use of social networks. Pedofilia, eh, ma allo stesso tempo prevenzione, intervento e disabilità. Prevenzione e anche l'aiuto per le persone che sono disabili che questo aiuto. In riferimento a quest'ultima, la disabilità, infatti abbiamo un protocollo con l'Oasi di Troina, che è un ente di ricerca, un riferimento della Sicilia. According to disability, they are working together with uh, um, an institution in Troina, right? So that is helping them to, to face this problem. E in particolare una collaborazione con eh, la polizia postale, come vedete, uh -huh. eh, proprio per un monitoraggio della rete e dopo ne parleremo in funzione dell'Osmocop, che è un servizio okay. appunto di Meteor. In particular a collaboration with the help of the, um, the place of the post office and that is helping this association to find out what are the real problems and to try to prevent them. Eh, faccio una breve presentazione di METER spiegando il termine. METER significa grembo, accoglienza, in senso lato protezione. Viene dato questo nome proprio perché Don Fortunato pensa di voler attraverso l'associazione accogliere l'infanzia, tutelarla. The word METER means to have uh, the friendship of everybody, to, uh, to gain friendship and to uh, look after mainly children on children. Eh, Don Fortunato Di Noto è il fondatore dell'associazione. Don Fortunato, sorry, Don Fortunato is the founder of this association. Eh, che nasce nel 1989, nel 1991, in quanto è un prete che inizia ad appassionarsi di tecnologia, le nuove tecnologie. Ok. This association was born in 1989-1991 because he's a priest and is really a fond of um, technology. Um, And those kind of Quindi dallo studio delle nuove tecnologie vede che da una parte sono fonte di informazione, quindi bene prezioso. Okay. By the study of technologies he has just seen that uh, from one hand they are really important, they help you, but ma dall'altra fonte anche di orrore e violenze. But on the other hand they are also source of violence and problems. Eh, All'interno della rete eh, vede un olocausto eh, caratterizzato proprio dalla produzione e divulgazione di materiale pedopornografico a danno dei minori. Ok, within this, uh, this project they saw that he, there are really a lot of problems towards young people. Da lì nasce quindi le... Scusami, talking about pedophilia, right? Da lì nasce quindi l'esigenza di lottare contro questo male, contro la pedofilia e gli abusi dell'infanzia. Okay. From, the, from there it was born, it just wanted to start the, um, the wish, the, 
to help young people. Quindi oggi l'associazione Meter è diventato un riferimento in Italia, quindi nazionale e internazionale, eh, infatti collabora con varie autorità in Cina, in Giappone, negli USA e in Europa. Today this association is really important throughout all Italy and Europe. It collaborates with a lot of countries around the world. E Don Fortunato solitamente dice che i bambini, ci sono tanti bambini orfani con genitori vivi. Per Okay. Don Fortunato, what, uh, an important thing that he says is that a lot of children orphans while their parents are still alive. Perché occorre prestare attenzione all'infanzia, occorre esserci totalmente, non Because solo it's fisicamente. It's really important to pay attention to children. You must be there always at any time. Quindi da lì nasce un intervento non solo per il minore ma anche per la famiglia, per accompagnarli lungo questo percorso. So, Uh, not only children need help, but also the parents. Um, la nostra missione è quindi migliorare la qualità della vita degli adolescenti, dei bambini e delle famiglie attraverso vari servizi. Vado un po' avanti, okay, però non. Okay. Their mission, their mission is to help uh, children, families, to all, um, within a lot of services and different kinds of help. Uno di questi servizi è l'OSMOGOP, che è l'Osservatorio Mondiale contro la Pedofilia, un ufficio altamente specializzato nella ricerca di dati su internet e l'elaborazione dei flussi di traffico per il contrasto della pedofilia e pedopornografia. One of these services is OSMOGOP, it's an, a world observatory uh, that tries to prevent pedofilia. E questo ufficio si avvale della collaborazione della polizia postale è da lì che viene il monitoraggio della rete quindi vengono individuati dei video, delle foto, delle immagini pedapornografiche e avviate le denunce alla polizia, alle autorità competenti ok, this, um, this office goes on, works with the help of the post police post and they try to prevent and search for all these sites that are inside internet uh, against children. Quindi l'Osmogop è composta da tecnici informatici che raccolgono con le loro competenze informatiche questi dati, eh, ma allo stesso tempo da psicologi e psicoterapeuti che grazie alla loro esperienza tracciano il profilo del pedofilo e quindi valutano la psiche e l'emozione nella rete. Okay. Um, this, this association is made up of technicians that try to find uh, where um, adults are pedophiles, no? uh, so they try to find the solutions to prevent these problems and before they uh, become a really big problem. L'OSMOGOP annualmente presenta dei report eh, con una credibilità del 100%. I report sono costituiti da una serie di dati percentuali relativi al monitoraggio della rete. Uh, OSMOGOP ha già fatto un report uh, on monitoring the uh, on monitoring internet so they can see before what what's happening. Ma allo stesso tempo l'ufficio interviene per la prevenzione, educando quindi i ragazzi, i bambini all'utilizzo corretto della rete. Ok, ma allo stesso tempo they try to help children to um, to use internet in the right way. Ok. Un altro elemento fondamentale dell'associazione METER è il centro ascolto e di prima accoglienza, che è il cuore dell'associazione, dove avviene la relazione d'aiuto. Quindi c'è chi ascolta e chi è ascoltato, e il tutto svolto dall'attività di psicologi che accolgono i bambini e le loro famiglie. Ok, another important part of this association is the heart of matter. Um, it also gives help to all children uh, that need help and it listens to carefully to their problems. Problemi inerenti, quindi it's, a, it's, a, um, it's an equip made of psychologists and uh, people that are really prepared on these problems. Problemi inerenti disagio infantile, l'abuso sessuale, fisico e psicologico. Ok, uh, problems uh, um, due to uh, children that can't live well in their families, uh, that maybe have uh, problems with the adults, uh, and, and all, something like that. 
Il centro ascolto si fonda su dei caratteri fondamentali, quindi l'accoglienza, ricevere le persone in situazioni di disagio, l'ascolto e l'orientamento. Altro elemento fondamentale dell'associazione METER è il centro polifunzionale, quindi se da una parte permette... Ok... Se da una parte permette quindi di intervenire eh, sugli abusi e pedofilia, quindi di eh, intervento ma allo stesso tempo prevenzione de, di questi rischi nella rete, dall'altra invece si preoccupa di intervenire sulla disabilità okay. attraverso il centro polifunzionale. Questo è quello che abbiamo detto just before, that besides helping to prevent problems for children, it also helps disabled people. Il centro polifunzionale per l'infanzia, l'adolescenza e l'autismo che è ad Avola e, e all'interno dei quali vengono svolte degli interventi abilitativi e riabilitativi. Oh, this center is situated in Avola where um, a lot of uh, things, a lot of, uh, of help is given to everybody. E quindi un servizio di neuropsichiatria, di psicologia, psicomotricità. Ok, these are all the, the things servizi. that yes. Ok, facciamo così. Sì, concludo un attimino. Quindi nel, uh, aspetti fondamentali anche dell'associazione sono le in iniziative che avvengono nel sociale, okay. quindi la giornata bambini vittime piuttosto che il 20 novembre okay. i diritti dell'infanzia. Another important thing besides helping them, there are a lot of initiatives uh, done for children, for disabled, for also for refugees, I suppose. Anche per rifugiati. No. Oh, okay. Not for refugees. E, il 14 ottobre c'è stata l'inaugurazione del polo formativo ed educativo che raccoglie tutti i servizi dell'associazione METER quindi l'aspetto della formazione e dell'educazione dove i volontari così come i professionisti possono dare servizio all'infanzia e alla famiglia ok, on the 14th of October there has been a really important event that has uh, just made everyone known what do they do and the help they can give to everybody grazie thank you She is uh, Mrs. Uh, Donatella Crucite, responsible uh, for uh, the uh, province of Syracuse of uh, emergency. And uh, she is going to explain uh, what uh, she worked for. Okay, thank you very much for being there. Okay, it's okay. Hi, everybody. So I'm trying to speak in English, and I hope it won't be boring or and uh, please correct me if I say something wrong, I don't know. Well, uh, I am a lawyer and I am a volunteer. That means that I work and then in, uh, in my free time, I dedicate time to emergency. I've met emergency uh, maybe 16 years ago uh, and I have chosen emergency and now I'm going to explain you why I have chosen emergency. Emergency is a, an independent and neutral NGO founded in Italy in 1994 to provide uh, free of charge high quality medical and surgical uh, care in countries affected by war and poverty. In accordance to the, with the, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, emergency recognizes the right to be cured as a basic right belonging to everyone, every member of uh, the human family without distinction of any kind. 
Emergency works basically in uh, areas of active armed conflict uh, where civilians bear the burden of war and in communities with limited access to, to health care. Emergency in 1994 basically uh, started to uh, uh, intend to provide this free, uh, high quality medical and surgical health care to those, who, as I said, who would have little or no access to it otherwise. But our approach, and that's the reason why I've chosen emergency, goes beyond the, the provision of only primary health care because we believe that the tools to save a life must always be available to all. That's why the health care we provide is always, in every country we work, free, absolutely free of charge, but at the same time of the highest standard. Uh, and we also, of course, are neutral. It, that means that we are, uh, we treat everyone uh, that is in need of assistance regardless of their race, color, sex, religion, background of political opinion. Another main characteristic uh, of emergency is that uh, we build and renovate healthcare facilities. Uh, uh, in the countries where there is war or in post-conflict countries. We want to sustainably contribute to the livelihoods of local communities by helping to rebuild local healthcare infrastructure. That's why we completely transfer control of our facilities to local health authorities once they achieve uh, uh, operational independence. That is really important. And we have already done this in Iraq and in Cambodia. Um, the third main characteristic of emergency uh, action is that the international experience staff that works in the hospitals or in the clinics or in the, fir in the first aid points, we run uh, 60 uh, points, 60 um, of uh, hospitals, clinics, as I said, and first aid points. So the international experience staff uh, provides uh, uh, local staff uh, with uh, um, training, uh, a deep training, in order to let them uh, learn the, the job and to uh, let the local authorities uh, run the hospital or the clinic at the end of our work, something that should last for generations. And I suppose it's working. But so every day, working in armed conflict areas, emergency deals with the destruction and the suffering caused by war. For this reason, emergency has always been committed uh, uh, to promoting a culture of peace. It's really important. It's uh, the second uh, part of our mission. The first is medical assistance, but the second is as the same importance is the promoting to, uh, of the culture of peace. Uh, and uh, uh, not only in, in the countries where its medical and surgical projects are based, but all, all over the world, I could say, everywhere in the world. For example, in 1994, emergency entered the campaign against anti-personal landmines, which brought Italy to ban them. So Italy does not product landmines anymore. It's a great goal for us. In 2002, emergency, with other organizations, of course, launched the campaign against the uh, imminent invasion of Iraq, and in 2011, against the war in Afghanistan. Every day through our work, we promote peace. That's why we are intending to do, through speaking out against war, as we are doing together this morning, and by declaring our facility weapons-free zones. So our hospital are completely weapons-free zones. There are no armed uh, guards in front of them. And, but we, our hospital are uh, running in uh, Iraq, Afghanistan, and other countries where the war is going on. So it means that it's possible to have a weapon zone free because the people of the country knows that it's the importance of the hospital, that the hospital is for everyone. 
and so they protect the hospital. It doesn't matter which part they are fighting for. We, so we re in according to our constitution, the Italian constitution, we repudiate the use of violence, terrorism, and wars as instruments to resolve disputes between individuals, peoples, and nations because we want a world based on social justice, dialogue, reciprocal respect as, we, uh, as all, all, uh, all the people, but also a world based on equal distribution of resources because justice is the base for peace. There can, couldn't be peace without justice. And incredible as it may seem for me that I volunteer for emergencies since uh, 2002, I suppose. I started uh, with when uh, emergency started a campaign against the uh, war in, in uh, Iraq. There were not projects in Italy, but now there are a lot of projects uh, uh, emergency projects in Italy that is quite surprising for us because by Italian law uh, health care and by in, according to our constitution health care uh, should, uh, um, have, should have been provide, should be provided to everyone not only to citizens to Italian citizens but to everybody who is here in Italy in this moment but you know, there Italy leads Europe arrivals by sea of migrants, and so local authorities asked our help to uh, give assistance to people arriving in Italy. And the kind of assistance we give to them is not only medical assistance, because uh, uh, as I said, although the right to health care is recognized in Italy by law, uh, migrants, but also refugees, and also disadvantaged Italian people, as we, I have to say that, often cannot access medical treatment due to a lack of knowledge of their rights, for example, or because of linguistic barriers, or difficulties navigating a really complex healthcare system, because the Italian system is not really easy uh, to access if you don't know exactly what you have to do, where you have to go, who you have to talk to. That's the reason why, be, beside our doctors and nurses, there is a really important figure that is the cultural mediators, that is the first person the, um, the patient will meet when, it will, when he goes to a clinic or a, an hospital. Because he, he tells to the cultural mediator his story, his needs, and, 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 may, and it's really important to listen to the story of the patient to understand which kind of medical treatment he needs and he has to be supposed. So, as I said, in Italy, um, emergency started working in Italy, providing medical assistance, as I said, in outpatient clinics, and there, are, there is a clinic here in Sicily, in Palermo, I don't know if you know where it is, and also in the north part of Italy, uh, near Venice, and uh, in the southern part of Italy, in Campania, near, not far from Naples, and in Calabria. But beside the outpatient clinics, there are mobile clinics. So we transformed normal buses into clinics. Uh, just to go where the people are in need. So we worked a lot here in Syracuse. We went uh, were in the centers for uh, refugees and migrants uh, to give them the medical and the social uh, assistance. That's what we do. That's what we do, and uh, and that's why I've chosen to volunteer for emergency and. Uh, the, the volunteers in Italy normally uh, make this, explain what the medical staff uh, uh, does in the other countries and uh, take care of fundraising. But I, I have to say that what has really changed me is to this experience uh, in the schools with the students, with the teachers, 
And I really want to thank you for having invited me here today because I feel your energy, it's a great energy and it touches me every time and uh, gives me more than what I give to my association volunteering because you meet a lot of great people making great jobs uh, and uh, it's really important to be happy doing this for other people Yeah, maybe sometimes I uh, tell the stories of people I haven't met before. I haven't met, maybe I won't ever meet them. But they are really close to me. And I know that today, every day in my life, I will, we say, I do my job, my small job, my small parts. But every part together, all the parts together make, could make a great change. So thank you, thank you very much for having me together. Thank you. Thank you. Pronto? Sì, ora ci siamo. Salud Bidiava, signor. Allora, eh, he is Mr. Franco Lentini. Franco Lentini and he represents the Caritas, uh, where we will be on Thursday. He is going to give uh, uh, all of you just uh, a little bit uh, welcome and thanks for having chosen his association to make uh, this experience with all the international teams. Buongiorno a tutti, grazie per avermi invitato. Volevo solo portare innanzitutto il saluto e il compiacimento della Caritas per questo progetto che insieme state portando avanti. È un'occasione propizia per mettere insieme ragazzi che vengono da territori diversi, mettere insieme lingue, culture e tradizioni uno diverso dall'altro, ma che si possono integrare, che si devono integrare per arricchirsi reciprocamente. Eh, io will, uh, would like to thank our project because uh, we have given uh, the association Caritas the chance to get to know uh, different students coming from different countries who will work together for the same objective which is helping others and so Caritas which he represent many 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 thanks we all for having given him this opportunity Preciso che Caritas non è un'associazione come quelle che, di cui avete sentito parlare prima. La Caritas è un, um, un ambito fondamentale nell'azione della Chiesa, nella pastorale della Chiesa. Per cui diciamo che è un po' la fonte a, spirituale a cui attingono tutte le opere di carità, tutte le associazioni di cui voi ad, avete sentito parlare. Uh, Caritas isn't really an association, it is a sort of melting point run by the church of all the activities which are voluntary oriented 
for uh, helping others, both uh, disadvantaged people, disabled, and uh, something like that. And uh, it is, uh, this is the local section because Caritas is a national association uh, and it is run by the church he represents, uh, that is San Giovanni Battista, San Giovanni uh, which Battista. is the responsible for the local section of Caritas. E oltre eh, a queste associazioni di cui avete sentito, prima dobbiamo dire che ad Avola la Caritas ha fatto da promotrice per altre attività fondamentali. Eh, pensiamo un po' per esempio all'oratorio per i ragazzi che permette di togliere i ragazzi dalla strada dando un luogo dove incontrarsi, un luogo un po' eh, in un certo senso protetto, seguito, un luogo in cui possono socializzare fraternamente senza pericoli come quelli che trovano nelle strade. The first thing this section of Caritas has created is a place where all the youngs meet, uh, they stay together, they work together, they study together because there are many volunteers who work with the youngs so that they couldn't lose their own way the right way of their life. Abbiamo, gestiamo e sosteniamo anche un atelier della speranza, cioè un luogo in cui è possibile per chi ne ha bisogno andare per prendere vestiti, abiti, scarpe e poter così e permettere eh, un aiuto materiale a queste persone, oltre e... a quello che poi viene distribuito in modo uh, sistematico durante l'anno. Uh, they have also created an outlet uh, run by volunteers in which they collect uh, clothes, shoes, coats, everything should be necessary for disadvantaged families of our town and they are now uh, a really important uh, point for our community because we suffer for uh, many redundant families uh, in which there aren't any monthly rewards and so this action is really necessary because they run the clothes outlet the food outlet too because almost once a week uh, they release what they have collected at school uh, on every order, nursery, primary school, students for a, uh, higher uh, school and they release to the families because we have a meeting point in Avola uh, where disadvantaged families uh, go in order to have food for uh, their family. La Caritas sostiene anche la mensa d'accoglienza, quella in cui se non sbaglio stasera molti di voi saranno ospiti, a ah, giovedì saranno ospiti, avremo questo piacere di accogliere le persone che vengono dall'estero e anche i ragazzi o le famiglie che li stanno accogliendo qui da noi. Anche questa è un'opera più che ventennale, più di vent'anni che già esiste e che si rivolge a soddisfare i bisogni proprio alimentari ma non solo perché è diventata un mezzo d'accoglienza nel senso che accoglie le persone che vanno lì e rappresenta un luogo dove queste persone possono essere ascoltate dove possono socializzare dove avere la possibilità di dialogare fra di loro e con chi si prende cura di loro And, uh, um... Uh, we, he is responsible for the social canteen where we'll be on a Thursday morning together with all the students and we will have, uh, they have invited us too to have lunch uh, with them and uh, he points out the fact that the social canteen uh, they run isn't only a place where disadvantaged people go to have food but it is a place where they have heard, listened their need, and they try to help them in every way they can do. It isn't only a place where to eat, it's something more 
obviously. As you can see, our students have experienced the last year. What does it mean? Because uh, uh, there are some nuns who work uh, in that social canteen for them. And uh, uh, when uh, our students went for the first, the one, two, the third time, they felt astonished because of the kindness of the people they met. And the fact that uh, Salvo, the first time he went, uh, the next day, he said to me uh, that uh, serving someone who didn't have anything has been something shocking for him. But at the same time, it has been a, a challenge for the students too. Because they have experienced what does it mean to take care of others without any rewards, because they aren't paid for this service, absolutely. They are volunteers. And that's the, I think this, is, uh, this has been really great from our students' part. Grazie per l'esposizione, diciamo. No, vado a concludere dicendo che la Caritas appunto non si occupa solo dei bisogni materiali delle persone. E, e, vedo, io non capisco, ecco, mi ha anticipato, bene, la ringrazio. Niente, eh, perché in questa occasione siamo qui presenti come Caritas? Perché questa è un'occasione propizia, è un tempo di grazia, diremmo noi come Chiesa, quella in cui si mettono insieme le istituzioni politiche, amministrative, scolastiche ed ecclesiali, per che cosa? Attorno a chi? Attorno ai giovani, attorno ai giovani che sono il futuro delle nostre società e quindi è un modo per far sentire loro la presenza delle istituzioni e questo potrà dare speranza a loro per il loro futuro ma anche a noi per il nostro presente grazie grazie mille eh. ci vediamo giovedì è suo questo? giovedì è suo questo? signor ma ci avete una presentazione? No? e eh, mettetela ah, ah ecco oh sorry Who are they? They are our special students because they represent the section of youngs of the Red Cross. They are all students of our school, Tamara Carnemolla, technical section, uh, Ivan Di Pietro, technical section 2, Diego Tiralongo, who has just come back from Germany for another Erasmus Plus project on refugees, uh, Liceo Classico, uh, scientifico, scientifico, and Milena Frigendi from the Liceo Scientifico too. So they now are going to explain to you what to do they do for our school and for the community. Good morning everybody, I'm Tamara, I'm 17 and I'm the delegate of Young's group of Avalas Red Cross. We are here today to present to you our association and we start with a short video that uh, talks about uh, Red Cross history. Uh, we enjoy, we hope you enjoy it. Abbiamo bisogno del tecnico? No, no. no. Salvatore? Vediamo se partiamo. <ride> I difetti della diretta. Aspetta, c'è ancora. C'è il signor Garante che risolve sempre tutto. He is our great helper. Without him we'll get lost. Ah, ok, quindi solo, solo il video. Ok, stiamo aspettando. 
in the lay. Without singing, okay. I can do anything. <laughs> It is. Some soldiers had not understood that the battle was over. Also, the doctors were tacted in this terrible battle. But this doctor was strange. It was as if he chose danger. In order to cure only. The tiny injured soldier was not a soldier anymore, but first of all a person who needed medical cures, regardless of their deployment. There were too many injured and they couldn't be cured in these conditions. Home, he wrote a book about his adventure and he claimed that all soldiers should be cured equally. Doctors and nurses must have the possibility to give cures without being disturbed. And for recognizing them, they have to take a symbol that distinguishes them from the others. Henri Duna sent his book to all the world's most important people and all of them agreed with him. It was necessary to do something. Some men decided to join him in Geneva to recognize and apply his ideas. This association was named the Red Cross. Our story ends up now. Maybe everything didn't go exactly in this way, but nowadays, in case of catastrophes or wars, the Red Cross still helps the victims without any discrimination. Good morning to everyone, I'm Diego and today I will introduce you to our association and will explain uh, um, what we do. Um, who are we? We are um, an association, a volunteering association, born with the Geneva Convention on uh, 22nd of August 1864. 
We are the world's biggest humanitarian organization involving over 115 million volunteers who work together with the ethical value of the seven fundamental principles, humanity, impartiality, neutrality, independence, volunteering, unity, and universality. Okay, so what do we do? Our organization has uh, six uh, strategic goals, six different groups uh, with their own specific goals. The first one is the health, then the social, the emergency, international humanitarian law, young people and communication. For each, oh, um, every group uh, does specific activities in base of uh, their own um, uh, specific goal. We take care about uh, uh, health and care activities. The Italian Red Cross does uh, health and care activities with ambulances and qualified staff to guarantee the security of the population during several events, such as uh, Towns Festival. We also take care of uh, landings. In fact, the Italian Red Cross is always present in uh, the activities of assisting and welcoming migrants from any part of the world. Uh, we do lots of distribution of food to our community. Um, the activity involves uh, periodic distribution of basic necessities such as milk, pasta, canned food and cheese uh, to the families in need. We, take care, uh, we also take care of uh, sensitivity activities in schools and squares. This is um, a, a kind of activities um, that involves uh, in particular young people such as us. Uh, in fact, uh, um, young people of the Italian Red Cross make sensitivity activities in schools and squares to sensitize the youngs on the most important young people's problem. For example, during uh, um, last year, not me but my colleagues uh, did um, an activity, uh, a project about the bullism. In its name was uh, No Ball is Allowed. And, um, um, uh, a seminary, sorry, uh, about uh, sex education and uh, lots of other activities. Then we also uh, help the real people's assistance and do summer activities with children in collaboration with other associations such as Superabili and uh, food collection. And this is us with our town mayor, and, uh, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed our presentation, and thanks for your attention. Thank you. I would like to say about them that uh, since last year, uh, they are doing a great uh, work at school because uh, uh, we have understand, understood that if students are trained by other students, we reach more results than if we teach something to our students. And they uh, run an important uh, day um, on awareness of sexually transmitted uh, illness to their peers, and they have also run a first aid uh, course for their, their peers at school. And we believe they should be a great force for us and for our project too, because we are uh, trying to do something with their section and with their help. Thank you very much. <laughs> and she has been one of my favorite students of one of the first Erasmus Plus project on CLIL. She went in Germany, in Fiersen, almost two years ago now, unfortunately, and uh, 
it has been a really great experience too for us. Know them. Thank you. Does it work? I'll try to keep it short. Good morning, first of all. Ciao di tutti i partecipanti a questa conferenza. Right? Good morning. Uh, it's pleasure to pleasure to pleasure to have you all here. First of all, before we start, I would write. I would like to say. I would like to express Dorotea. I'm talking to you right now express my gratitude for everything you have done for this project uh, please send my thanks to the headmaster as well but uh, we really I think I speak also for Thomas and uh, Marco, Isabel and uh, Jasmine and Daniel thank you for the hospitality please pass our thanks to the families because without the families we would not be able to have uh, so many students here and I believe the students are also having great experience being able to be with the families. It's a different thing than being in BNB or anywhere else. So that's really, really uh, great experience for us. And I was talking to my colleague Anna this morning. We said, this is really, we have done great work, everybody, and it's a great inspiration to see you here in Italy, your hospitality, your community, your work that you have done and a great inspiration for us, for everybody. So thanks, uh, thanks a lot for this. And uh, yeah, please one big applause to Dorotea and everybody here. Yeah. Grazie. Uh, I'll try to keep it short. Uh, so, my name has been said many times. I'm, I'm Radek from the Czech Republic, and uh, it's really a pleasure to be here. Uh, I will try to maybe say a few uh, sentences about what we're doing in Czech Republic. It is very different from what you do here, what they do in Estonia, because smaller places tend to have bigger communities. They tied together. We work with organization in Czech Republic. We work with hospitals. We work with uh, educational facilities. So we have partner organizations that we send our volunteers to. It's a little bit different, but you also work with organizations. Uh, but we don't have what you have, and I'm really jealous. You have a great community here. Um, that's something we maybe would like to achieve in the future as well. But it's difficult because we are in a very big city, downtown in the big city. Um, but we also hope that our activity is valuable. Uh, so I will stop talking and I will invite my students here, Vitya, Yasmina, Pati, and Nati. And they will tell you 
shortly about what they have been doing and they're still doing. Hello. Uh, we'd like to present our volunteer activities. Well, we did two different volunteer activities. Mm, I worked with Mina, not uh, not they worked with Pate. So I will let. So hello, uh, me and Nati. Uh, we are going to Klokanek. Klokanek is uh, in English kangaroo. It's a center uh, for children uh, from socially challenged families. Uh, it's a really, really specific house where children live in flats with their sisters and brothers. Every flat has a um, like aunt, it's a patron, it's a woman who cares about them like their mom and uh, uh, children are taken from this, from uh, their families because uh, it's many reason for this. Uh, for example, uh, like about sexual uh, abuse or psychological abuse and uh, also lack of proper treatments. And now will something Natalie. So hello, my name is Nati. I'm working with Patti. And why did we choose this? I think that the, the main reason why we'll choose this is was that we love uh, working with kids, so, uh, but we w would like to choose something that we will uh, help them, right? So the kids are from uh, very specific problems there because they, they are like specific, psych physical abuse or sexual abuse, so it was pretty hard to work with them because they are a little bit different. But we try, and uh, I think that we did it. Nice. <laughs> so what we are doing exactly? Uh, during this time, we prepared a art club for children. We made many, many products. For example, like these butterflies or other activities. We are chatting with them. Uh, children tell to us their problems and so something like that. And dislikes and likes. I start from dislikes because uh, it was very hard in the beginning because we came to the Kokanek and they didn't expect us. We were surprised because we talked with them and they are like just don't even know that we came to their house. <laughs> so we was very confused about this and we, we don't know if we want to do it, but we talk with, I talk with Patty and we will say that, okay, we will do it again. So we talk with them and we will start again. We came to Kokanek and it was again very confused because they told me, to, they told to us that we need to go there to pick up the children. And it was like, go there, there and there. And we, we never be there and we, we don't know what we, want to do it with them. So we pick the children and it's also very confusing because the children are with different ages. So we have something and uh, the children has different uh, drawing skills. So uh, we have a lot of children, we need to uh, confuse and every, everybody and we still have, uh, we have problem with working with them because somebody uh, can drawing 
anything somebody can, so it was like this. But then when we have more and more lessons with them, it was better and better because we built some relationship with them. They were happy then we came to them and we have fun with them. So, yeah, <laughs> thank you. Hello again. <laughs> Me and Vitya work in the institution, and it's called Jedličku v Ustav. It's a facility for children and young people that are, that they are less privileged, and they have uh, mental or physical uh, handicap. Yeah. There is currently 180 students, and 90 of them are living there. Uh, they are there during the week and they are going home only for holidays and weekends. Uh, the school also provides elementary and middle school where we work with Vidya. And in the school there are also pool, gym and the cafe where they worked after they graduate. Uh, why did we choose Jedličku v Ustav is because we thought it would be relatively easy but, and we didn't know what to expect and that's I think the main reason for us because we kind of wanted to find out and I think it was the best choice that we made because it was really great opportunity and we met a lot of great people. And Well, our job was a teacher's assistant. Um, we helped with children do basic stuff, for example, uh, help them write their notes or help them something take out of their backpack because they um, have a really poor ability um, with uh, you know doing basic stuff and they they're on a wheelchair and um, also, one day we went on a school trip with them. Um, it's not there. Yeah, this is a school trip. Uh, we went on a school trip and uh, we just had uh, a great time. We uh, played some games with them. We helped them move uh, their wheel wheelchairs. And we chatted with them a lot. So I think it was a great experience. And later that day, we also went uh, to a dormitory. Uh, where we spent time with a 16 years old uh, kid called Jakub. We helped him uh, do his homeworks. Uh, we talked to him, we chatted, we had a good time, and later that day we played some video games. Yeah, so like I said, these people are really great. They're always smiling, they're always happy. Um, they're really enjoying everything. They, they love hugging, they love making jokes, and they, love, they just love being happy. And most importantly, most importantly, they enjoy the little things in their life, which I think is essentially the lesson that we took. Enjoy the little things. And here's me playing with Jakub video games. I think it's the only photo that we have from Relich Kavu stuff, probably. But yeah, I didn't let him defeat him, I, I beat him in that game. <laughs> okay. Thank you.
Está. Hello? Yes. <laughs> okay. Buongiorno, uh, everybody. Uh, my name is Isabel. I am a Spanish teacher from the Spanish delegation. And uh, thank you. I would like, before starting and presenting our projects, I would like to say thank you to uh, the Italian teachers, the associations, the institutions, the students, their family, and all the people that are contributing to this beautiful project because helping people who is in need I think uh, show that we have a big heart and it's worth our working. So thank you very much. We have enjoyed a lot with this project. And the first thing is that we have been working uh, with all this kind of thing for a long time because our founder, saying Juan Bosco, was uh, his motto, his lemma to help people in need, to work with young people, to open the school. The, our school is not closed at half past two. Our school is open all day and all weekends. And children, family, students work together in a good atmosphere in the prevention system to avoid uh, secondary problems and uh, because of that we are uh, we have been enjoying with this uh, uh, work so we uh, now I'm going to present our three activities that we are working at the moment first we are working with uh, people in need, people who mm, are homeless, people who um, are unemployed at the, at the moment, and they are suffering their situation. So um, we mm, provide food and provide first aid to these people. Uh, our student, what do our student do? So, uh, Salvador, this uh, project are Salvador. Salvador is a uh, charity canteen. Yes, it's a um, uh, meal center. It's a charity meal center. And uh, the Avanti project that we are going to present, Jasmina is going to present and uh, the project, these two projects have more or less the same objectives. So you can continue. So the, these two projects, helping people in needs, homeless people and unemployed people who need to eat every day. So the main objective is providing food to homeless people along the year raising awareness among students with a very active participation. Uh, we are very happy with the response our students are having because there is a high participation of a student, of family, of other institutions. So we are really, really happy with the response that all our students are doing. And another uh, objective is knowing some of the causes that lead people to social exclusion. Sometimes we are so involved in our day by day that we don't realize that there are people who are suffering. 
not only people in Africa, not only people in uh, underdeveloping countries, but neighbors near our house. There are people, even students from our school. Sometimes they have to go to the to this uh, uh, meal, charity meal center to have lunch in a, with a with a little shame because they are not used to doing that but unfortunately they have lost their employment and their employment and they need to it and another uh, object is to try to open the spirit of solidarity in our young students and uh, we think that we are getting it that is the most important so, uh, Salvador Charity Mill Center, eh, it's an institution, it's a community that is um, run directly by nuns. So, what do our students do there? So, they go twice a month and they uh, help the nuns serving food, well, preparing food, serving food, doing the washing up, and talking to people. And for them, it's a really amazing experience because they say, it's incredible uh, to see not only the typical beggar that you can find in the streets. You can find family, father, mother, that uh, come with the recip recipients the tupperware, the tupper for the meal, and they go back home to have lunch for the family. Because some of them uh, have lunch there in the, in the center, but other, a long queue of people waiting for having, for taking lunch to the family. And all the students that are participating are really, really happy because they think that it's a very rewarding uh, experience. Okay, mm, we are going to, yes, so now we are going to present, to introduce another uh, activity, another project that is Avanti and uh, uh, Yasmina is going to introduce, okay? I'm Thank Yasmin, you. I'm a primary teacher of Manuel Lora Tamayo in Jerez de la Frontera and now I'm going to talk about uh, Avanti's project that is one of our projects and that we are involved in, okay? The main objective of this project is to provide food, um, hot chocolate or, or coffee or soup for homeless people or poor people. Uh, in our town. Uh, this project takes place on Thursday evening because the rest of the week is done by Caritas. Uh, my experience with this project show me that people, the user, homeless people, uh, feel thankful, uh, but not for the dinner or for the meal, also for the meal, but for the moment in which we talk with them. How are you? How was your week? Are questions that they need to hear to feel that they are important for someone. And on the other hand, our volunteers are uh, teenagers, students or teachers or have our house, our uh, school. And they always say that this experience has changed uh, the thoughts about homeless people and their own life. This is always uh, and also really rewarding. Now I'm going to talk about the last project that we got, that is our job center. Well, no. <laughs> um, well, our school is Catholic. And our charisma was born with Don Bosco and it's called Salesianos. Uh, Don Bosco founded oratorios uh, for poor and young people 
uh, in order to help them to improve their living standard. I have to say that our school is in a neighborhood that uh, people that live in, families, are in need. Our families are, have uh, economic uh, problems, so we want to prevent the problems that this situation can carry out of our students. Every child can come every Friday afternoon to our job uh, center to spend a good time with us playing football matches, uh, skate competitions, dancing, or whatever. Uh, moreover, this job center try to uh, children and young teenagers experience the Catholic uh, values together in a good atmosphere. So now we are going to watch a, a little bit uh, video, a short video, uh, that show a lot of things that we do in our center. Hope you enjoyed it. This is on 30th of January because we celebrated Don Bosco Day. So this is the procession that's on the uh, 24th of uh, May is a holding competition. Astronomic uh, 
Yes, that's right. So the night of the stars. The night of stars, yes. We have a special Fridays with this type of activities. <laughs> Watching the stars, yes. So we try to do different activities to enjoy them and to have a good and healthy atmosphere at the school. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for your attention. Okay. Thank you so much to the Spanish friends. Who's got Daniel? Okay. Now, Romania will present their work. Hello again, everybody. We want to share uh, with you our uh, volunteering activities in Romania. Uh, because uh, the hard work is uh, of uh, students I will let them uh, to present uh, our activities, in fact, uh, their activities. So we started, uh, Anna, would you come? So, it's Anna, Larissa, Elena, and uh, Petronella. At first, uh, I will uh, show you. I will uh, show you something. Uh, some uh, main information. So, this is a Romanian team. It's a photo taken in uh, May this year. You can uh, recognize maybe Ciprian, uh, Stefan, and uh, Larissa here. I don't know. Uh, on the very left, yes, she's uh, Raluca Alexandra. Alexandra, just Alexandra was in Estonia. Okay. So, uh, the Romanian students from the target group do volunteering activities in partnership uh, with uh, Myosotis Association Romania. At the day center for disabled children uh, called uh, Esme House. Myosotis uh, Romania, it's a part of the Myosotis uh, Trust, registered the uh, English charity. So in uh, December last year, our volunteers activity started 
at the Center for Disabled Children, ESME House. We made the first uh, visit. Here is a part of our students. It was uh, winter, there is snow, and uh, some students think about uh, what they will do. At uh, Esme House, uh, the profile of uh, the beneficiaries are, as you look, children with disabilities age 4 to 11. 75% uh, of uh, them are raised in their families, but uh, the rest are in foster families. Diagnostics um, means uh, retard in uh, their mental, cognitive and linguistic development. More of uh, half are diagnosed with autism. And those are uh, severe diagnoses, motor deficiencies like tetraparesis, hemiparesis, ADHD, epilepsy, emotional and attachment disorders. So all of these uh, 28 volunteer students from the pedagogical high school participated in the effective uh, activities with these children of the center. There are a type of uh, activities. I will pass uh, over. So, um, the free programs we present our uh, activities with uh, therapeutic uh, purpose in the center. All 28 volunteers. Uh, we have uh, five more volunteers uh, this year. We count a number of uh, 283 hours of uh, this type of activities. Another one is uh, Myosotis Summer Camp, where uh, only five volunteers uh, has participated, but they uh, stay there day and night, 24 hours a day. Petronella will talk to you about uh, this, and uh, if you agree, we have a video about uh, 10 minutes. Uh, we can skip some moments, if it's too long, about uh, the summer camp. And the third, for the uh, first year of project, renovation and decoration of interior and exterior spaces, there uh, participates eight volunteers from uh, fine arts classes. They uh, continue to work on this project uh, even yesterday and today and all this week I talked to them. We estimate uh, about 200 hours for this project. Here you have uh, three photos on three stages. At the be beginning, starting work and finished the wall. So about uh, activities, who wants to start? Volunteers' activity with a group of children most seriously affected by a disability, um, with high levels of complex needs, uh, who fail to occur uh, language either in experience of uh, impressive form. Um, with weak, every, even every week, uh, interaction skills, uh, totally addicted to adults in terms of personal anatomy, and uh, with low uh, acquisitions petitional. Uh, 
um, activities with a therapeutic purpose in the center. Uh, 28 volunteers uh, with uh, 283 hours. Uh, volunteers activity with a group of children most seriously affected by disability. Um, specific, uh, specific activities to simulate sensory uh, perceptual thinking. They accompanied the children in the sensory room and uh, we become familiar with the specific ways of interacting with them. Uh, activities to simulate interaction skills and activities to simulate personal anatomy. Uh, when uh, we, ha we have helped uh, children with their meal in their activities intended to form their specific skills of washing their hands, face of dressing or putting on their shoes. Hundred and four uh, hours of volunteering with a group of children with active learning potential and low level of knowledge and skills, with high levels of complex needs, who have failed to acquire language in expressive form but understand language when it refers to familiar situations of live and simple com uh, commands, thinking developments sp uh, specific to age range up to three years, low level to development of interaction skills, developing basic skills of uh, personal autonomy. Activities with a uh, therapeutic purpose in the center. Activity of volunteers with a group of children with uh, active learning potential and low level of knowledge and skills. Participa uh, participation of in uh, activities to simulate uh, socializing skills, games, dancing, outdoor activities. Accompanying this, uh, the child in the sensory room and the part of the, th uh, the therapy specific to the sensory processing disorders. Uh, involvement in specific activities for the development of uh, personal autonomy skills, meal eating, the, uh, the ability of uh, their wash hands, face, to for perform dental brushing, to dress up on uh, their shoes. Participation in motor skills development activities, developing fine hand muscles, uh, using correct writing tools, using squeezes correctly, using a pencil shaping, etc. Uh, Larissa, Larissa, Anna, and uh, Elena works uh, at the same type of activity. So uh, they worked uh, with uh, different groups, with children from each group, I mean. Uh, approximately the same type of work. Okay. Um, uh, 114 volunteer hours with a group of uh, children with active uh, learning potential and the uh, average level of uh, knowledge and skills. Children with a good understanding of language and uh, who use uh, verbal languages to communicate their intentions, needs, uh, wishes. The de uh, development of thinking is uh, specific to the preschool uh, age range. Developing ability to interact with others, so uh, socialization. In uh, spontaneous activities, there are several types of play. Uh, construction game, game exercise, and uh, even symbolic game. Uh, developing basic skills of personal autonomy. Activity of volunteers with a group of children with uh, active learning potential and the medium level of knowledge and skills. Uh, participation in activities to simulate socializing skills. Participation in uh, learning activities that uh, aim at uh, stimulating thinking, forming the concept of number, developing uh, environmental knowledge. Participation in learning activities that uh, aim at uh, developing game and socializing skills. Participation in activities aimed uh, at uh, developing motor skills. Engaging in specific activities to develop personal autonomy skills. Uh, reading and graphic work uh, activities. About summer camp, sorry, about summer camp, uh, Petronella, an uh, active volunteer at this activity from start to the end will tell you about it. So I will present you Minnesota summer camp. Uh, formed by five volunteers. 
Stage 8, training at ESME House, organizational regulations, material base check, program setting, transport planning, camping training, tent setting. Programs run. Neon Center sum, Summer Camp, five volunteers. Stage B, uh, setting up the camp, installation of the tents, benches, kitchen arrangements, sanitary group, sanitation, perimeter security, first aid training, team building, and program finalization. Stage C. Stage C. Volunteers activities with the beneficiaries. They constantly cared for the children with disabilities as they did not come to the camp with their parents. They prepared and supported, and supported the daily program of activities for the children participating in the camp. They also prepared and served, served the meal, being successful in their responsibility of cooking for 30, 40 children and volunteers daily. Okay, stage C, volunteers activities with the beneficiaries. Uh, so, stage cover activities, identification of the needs of the center, decorating the walls, decorating the walls of the sensory room, decorating the exterior walls of the earth, repainting the watch, the watch tower, repainting the fence, artistic elements, planning or design, establishing the necessary materials, identifying the available volunteers, surface preparation, making pencil sketch, painting achievement, and fishing. Okay, that's all. I think. So. Thank you. Uh, Petronella just uh, started to present our uh, third program. Uh, you saw uh, previously these images. Uh, here are uh, show activities in the yard about our volunteers. Uh, you can recognize uh, Ciprian. So we want to show you a small video.
că prin această experiență o să-i descoperi pe ceilalți voluntari cu adevărat. Stai, 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 Mahel Ma
Volunteers. It would not be the same. This year I have been so impressed with your hard work, the way you've looked after the children, the way you've carried out all your duties. Um, I know that Peter, as a trustee of the charity in England, will always sing your praises, will always say, the volunteers are so wonderful. Am cunoscut o persoană minunată, o persoană foarte inteligentă, o persoană cu un caracter extraordinar, care sper că voi fi prietenă și peste mulți ani și pe care cred că o apreciem cu toții pentru talentul ei, pentru dragostea pe care ne-a oferit tuturor și te doar la felicitări pentru tine. Thank you. So, thank you again to our Romanian team. Now, it's up to our headma Estonian headmaster. As our community in Estonia is uh, very small, tiny, tiny, so it's absolutely different from yours. There is only one bigger village, then lots of forest, the sea, and uh, around the village maybe somewhere uh, people living, but uh, about uh, those our works please you can start yeah so hello from me as well uh, 
We do have a youth council in Dustama and a youth center. Uh, we have uh, an active 4-H club and an organi organization of different parties. So these are all the, aside from 4-H, these are all the little councils and uh, communities that do things within Dustama and like just for the yeah, for young people. Uh, so this is a picture of our youth council from uh, February 2011. Uh, we, the Youth Council also has their own t-shirts. And uh, this is at a Christmas, uh, at a, this is a, yeah, at Christmas. Uh. Uh, we also have uh, Youth Awards of the Year every year. And uh, last year it was uh, this uh, uh, blonde lady uh, called Dele. And uh, the year before that was Laura. Uh, we also do have a Christmas uh, Christmas market every year where people take things they've done, like handicrafts, and bring them there and sell them. Uh, we also have a safety day uh, that is for uh, to raise awareness about fire safety, about laws, about everything you can think of. Uh, we also have a let's do it day basically where uh, people get together and they clean up the environment from uh, uh, in the near areas. So uh, yeah, this building in here is the youth center actually, and uh, this is the uh, EV100, which basically means uh, Estonian uh, Republic 100. Because next year uh, we uh, get to be uh, our uh, republic uh, gets uh, 100 years old, and uh, because of that, we're basically uh, celebrating the whole year. Uh, this is the uh, Charles Republic. Uh, this happened on the 1st of September, and uh, this was for uh, meant for uh, smaller children. They had like a few plays uh, and just interesting things to do for the little ones. Uh, we also have uh, Dostoma days. Uh, they used to be our parish days, but they aren't anymore because we're uh, joined with the town, so now we'll just have Dostoma days. They're usually in August, like 10 to 15, somewhere uh, in that general area. Uh, also, uh, uh, one of the nominees of the Youth Council of year 2016 was from Dustama. Uh, and this is a charity evening. Uh, we also we do usually have like some charity events uh, once or twice a year. I think last year when uh, you were in Dustama, you were uh, the uh, people from Erasmus who came to Dustama were at it as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that. And uh, <clears throat> also uh, next month, I'm uh, organizing one uh, chari uh, charity evening, which uh, uh, includes uh, a concert from uh, some people that uh, I've uh, specially asked to perform. And uh, also, we will have the. Yeah. Uh, also, I've. Uh, organized uh, a cafe there and uh, a donation box and everything for charity and uh, well let's see how it turns out it's uh, like the biggest event I have organized this far and yeah actually l last year we did organize a world's day as well which was uh, uh, for raising awareness about uh, education level, levels of different people from different areas and backgrounds. And there we had a donation box as well for uh, to raise the quality of uh, education in, uh, like in, poor, uh, in third world areas. So this is the... Um, yeah, this, so this is basically one of the schedules of uh, the few charity events we've had. And yeah, there's the youth center from outside. The, the picture is from December 2010. And yeah, we do have a lot of new board games in the youth center as well, thanks to uh, many different 
things, donations, things like that. And uh, this is a picture of Easter celebration. <laughs> and this is uh, a picture of 4H in this demo, and that is from a long time ago. Uh, yeah. And this is the 4H, 25th 4H party in Berno. And yeah, this is a picture of how our youth center got to do a lot of stuff before going on summer vacation. These are f the farm days. And uh, 4H recently got to Gitno as well. Uh, uh, like a year or two ago, there actually wasn't a 4H party in Gitno. But uh, uh, this demo local actually um, helped them uh, put a 4H party together. And this is the U.S. ambassador in Gihno. And yeah, moments of uh, 4H. And this is organizing different parties, like the TTA, which is a sea-themed party, and uh, Seaman Days. Yeah, so yeah, and this is Sailor Man's Valentine's Day. It's a nice little uh, event as well. And so every year we do have a run as well that's uh, like seven and a half kilometers long. Uh, you can uh, walk, it, walk it as well, of course. You uh, don't have to necessarily run. And this is the Raimavest. Raimavest. It's, it's another fish theme. The, a little festival where, actually, this is me. This picture is from a long time ago. Yeah, uh, uh, the, yeah. over there, I'm singing. Uh, yeah, uh, seen me. Yeah. Okay, and this is Scaly over here. So, yeah, and uh, students also do, uh, like, different foods. Uh, they make foods for the festival as well. And, uh, yeah, this is uh, Jonah, uh, Jonathan's uh, event. Jerry, would you like to say something about it? No. Nope. Right. And thank you for the attention. Now, this is uh, our last uh, uh, video for you. This is uh, the surprise of which we have talked about for so long. And uh, I wouldn't like to say anything about because it's a surprise. And uh, at the end, two of our students, Sara and Marta, will explain to you the sense of this. It's uh, just uh, five minutes, not more, five, seven minutes. Ci siamo? Pepe is uh, organizing. He was the, the great director. Sì, certo.
Yeah, Misha and uh, Rita. Yes, I am the head teacher here at Tavola. Yes, uh, we saw that online. So, you are the new kid from Syria? Yes. yes. You know, you are in year 7, right? Yes. Also, do you know your timetable for the year? Yes. As you can see, uh, you are in the White House, which is the base of the Super Humble Association. Super Humble? No, Rita! It's super ugly! Oh, sorry, that's right. There's the word in my guess I should be going to the first class, and so should you. Go on then, get to your bike. Hello, you must be Alicia and Rita. Yes, we are. Uh, class, these are two new people who come here from Syria. Uh, Alicia, uh, you sit over there and Rita, you sit next to her. Okay. Alicia, why is everyone looking at us in a strange way? I don't know. Maybe because we are new. Or because we are different. Firstly, you two can start by writing your name onto the front of your books. Alice, how do we write our names in the language? I don't know. Let's ask. Teacher, how do we write our names? Oh, you can't write your name. No, we only come here a week ago. Our English is poor and we don't know the English alphabet. There you go, Thailand, bit of girl. Teacher, teacher, we, we are afraid we, we cannot read as well as write. For goodness sake. What can you do? Alicia, is the teacher calling up on Jesus allow Brahma when she loves to God? Silly, she said goodness. Or, um, I think uh, it is the phrase uh, the English use. Never mind. Where is it? Where is it? I need to go and What is it? What do you want to do? Where is it? I need to go. Where is it? Go? The place I need to go. Go in the bed with somebody. I can't, but still, I need to go. Forget this, your bark and the dog got me. Didn't you just say I bark and silly boy he thinks I am a dog? Also, where is the tree? I'm never mind. I am a dog. Don't call me that. Chill, Rita, it's just an English brass. I don't care, don't call me that. Shut up, it's a way fool. I think you should go. Also, as you couldn't tell, Rita just needed the room. All right, I'm sorry, Rita. Bye. Thanks. Uh, um, my name is Mary Rosa. No. Anyway, you're welcome. Don't worry, come with me. Yes, Jose Maria Rosa helped me out to find the toilet and stop me bully. Cool! You two tell me about what's happening. Come on. Alice, where do you think the park is? I don't know, Rita. Let's keep on walking through. Look, Rita. It's a park. Yeah, we found it. Let's go play. Yeah!
Come on, Lita. I think it's time to go home, but uh, it's been only half an hour. That's more than enough time. Oh. Alicia, which way is it home? I don't know, Rita. There are four paths to go. Which did we come from? I don't know. Hey guys, never so. I will find you here. So, what's up? We came to the park and played, but now we cannot find the way home. Yeah, I'm really sad. That's alright. Can you tell me? I know the way around all of Aula. Oh, we live in Aula. I know where it is. It's about five minutes away. We can help you get home. That would be nice. That's alright. So, here you are, guys. Thanks, girls! That's alright. Anything to help out some friends. Bye then, bye. Come over sometime. Yes, I might. Lita, they are good friends. Yeah, anyway, the time to get some rest. Yeah, great idea. Hope you enjoy. This was just a little bit surprise, but it's really great for us because of two reasons. First one, language barrier. And second one, physical barrier. We have a meal together. This script was realized by Akram Zihan who is one of the students, an English student, involved in another of our project, Erasmus Plus project, Phoenix, about school, uh, early school leavers. What they have uh, done has been to learn the script, and then we have realized this with the great help of the Superabili Association, Pepe and all as, as teacher, uh, be just a little bit uh, thing I have done, but uh, their enthusiasm and uh, the fact that they have acted in English and have learned the importance of helping each other. That is our last surprise for you for this morning and hope you like it as we did. Thank you very much for your attention. But first, they have to say something to you. I am Martha. This clip deals a very important team, the integration of two foreign in a new, in a new country. It was uh, both exciting and significant. We have done, done it also with the help of two disabled people, because no one is different, but we are all the same. Hi, I'm Sarah. This short film is about diversity as a disability, and among races, shows that the acceptance of diversity is a source of wealth, although there are people who discriminate and mistreat them, without realizing that, that diversity is value and must be appreciated. Thank you very much. Now we have really finished for this morning. Ah, my God! <laughs> Stop! No, 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 no. Stop. Now we are our host in uh, our uh, school laboratory for uh, just a little bit uh, branch. Now it should be a branch. And uh, students! 
ci volete venere venerdì a sera o fare quella parte? Sì. sì e allora stiamo aspettando chi? So just, we are talking in Sicilia now so that you can understand what I am saying but it's a symbol because we just would like to know how many people about their families will be with us for the farewell party because we have to say to those who are organizing it so picciute di me bede noi sappiamo che voi siete tutti 36 ma domani ci dovete dire esattamente di ognuna delle vostre famiglie chi verrà alla festa da Dio che è brutta chiamarla così ma si chiama così e di arrivederci ok questo arrivederci che costerà ad ognuno di noi 5 euro però quello che ci importa sapere è per ognuna delle vostre famiglie quanti sarete tipo cicciuzzo se siete tutte e tre penso di sì perché mamma verrà sicuramente